I've never seen this kind of thing in my life before. I've never heard any story like this in my life. This is so, 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 so ridiculous. Can you imagine that a lady took her dead uncle on wheelchair, on wheelchair to the bank to withdraw money, basically to withdraw, uh, to collect the loan which the uncle has already applied for months ago and was already approved. Yes, basically the uncle applied for loan. You know, before his death, he applied for a loan, which the loan was uh, later approved. So he was supposed to go to the bank to withdraw it. But unfortunately, he fell ill. He was very sick. He was even admitted to the hospital. Few days after it was, he was admitted, unfortunately, he passed away. So it's, maybe, maybe he was not fully dead yet. Maybe if she had not, uh, you know, as soon as she noticed, she was able to take him to the hospital. Probably they would have revived him, you know. But instead of her to take him to the hospital, tell let the people around know, or you know, you know what she did? She took his corpse on a wheelchair to the bank to withdraw the loan. So uh, how how you know how the, how was she able to accompany it? So she took him straight into the bank, you know, after uh, driving to the bank. So she drags the corpse and put to the put it on the wheelchair. Then you know, assuming that he was disabled. So she, she took him straight to the bank. You know, while they were, I think probably they were on queue. So she went to get water for him. So for him. So while she went away, one of the people walking in the back noticed that the head of the corpse. Uh, sorry, this is not funny. So his head was bent to the other side. So she went, that is one of the worker, one of the bank employees, went to the uh, close to the corpse and um, try to adjust the head. But she never knew. She never imagined that this is a corpse that this man has already passed on. So he tried, she tried to adjust the head. You know, other employees in the bank were like, this is kind of very, very weird. So when this lady came back, he brought the water, pretended to give it to him, giving it to the uncle, you know. So she brought her water to the late uncle, tried to force try to pretend like he's giving the water to him to drink so obviously he's dead he can't drink the water so when it was time for him to sign so that she could withdraw the money you know after maybe after they waited for a couple of minutes you know so he was holding the uncle's hand the little the, the, the cop's hand with the pen say uncle please sign this thing now but the uncle the one of the employee was like no He's supposed to be the one signing. Why is it? Why is it like this? Then she replied that ah, that is how my uncle is. So that is how he do. most times he doesn't talk. So he was. The, so she was telling the cops that uh, don't worry, uncle. If your if your condition is really worse, I'll take you to the hospital. You understand? So this the people in the bar was like, this is kind of very very weird. We need to do. You know, and one of them called the police. So when the police got there, you know, when they saw it, they found out that they, that that was a cops that that person is already dead. So when they do, did the autopsy, whatever they noticed, they found out that he, the, the, that he was actually dead two hours before he was brought to the bank. Yes. Okay. So I think this isn't that happened in Brazil. <laughs> Is this not surprising? Very, very surprising. Obviously, she will be charged for mass slaughter. So the mass slaughter could change it to murder because why they say mass slaughter? Because it may be that. She was not acting because she might be that she, she may not be the one that is directly responsible, you know. All right, so uh, yeah, <laughs> like, guys, how do you think? What do you what do you feel about this uh, story? Is it not weird? To me, it is very very weird. There yeah, are people get mine too, you know, out of desperation. She and the loan was around two thousand plus dollars that they about. <clears throat> What? And before uh, before then, when they were in the bank, you know, so the lady will use her hand to support the cop's neck so that it doesn't fall like this. You support the neck, hold the neck one kind, you know, so that it doesn't fall out. Do you know that if not for the fact that one of them, they were not, they noticed that they called the cops, they would probably, she would have succeeded in collecting the money from the bank without them knowing that it was already dead. <laughs> Don't worry, subscribe to my channel for more gist like this. this is your boy Afro Laugh.